We're here with Datrium and we're doing the, of course, unboxing video. I'm joined by Mike McLaughlin. Um, Mike, I don't think we've uh, asked you what your role is here. So what is it you do with, with Datrium? So, um, hi everyone. I'm Mike McLaughlin, Director of Technical Marketing on the Solutions team. I basically get to work with our product, work with our customers, work with our sales and marketing team. I build the demo labs, best practices. I get to play with all the gear before it goes out the door. Kind of a fun job. Fun job, yeah. All right, and what's in the box, Mike? So in this box, we have one of our data nodes. This is a D12X4B um, that we're going to basically unbox today and, and put into, uh, into the uh, service that we're going to do. Um, but I wanted to kind of get you a chance to just literally open it up and see what it looks like and what we're going to do. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And, and the really important thing is this is the only piece of hardware that has to be Datrium. Correct. Datrium provides compute nodes, but you don't have to use Datrium's compute nodes. You can use your own. But the, the data node here is the thing that has to be the Datrium hardware. Yeah, this is, sort of forms the foundation of the heart of the DVX. So this is our hardware product. It, it basically is the first thing that has to go in. And then the compute nodes, whether you get those from us or from yourself or from another third party, um, they attach to this. All right. All right. All right. Well, let's see it in the box. All right. Let's see. What we... So. There we go. Fairly straightforward packaging here. Um, we've got a, a data node to you appliance. We've got some kit here that is the um, the rails. So it comes with uh, essentially a handy rail kit. And right under there is the quick start guide. So if you do like to do a little paper reading, um, you get this. We can send this to you electronically as well. But this is essentially the get this how to. And that's that's what we're going to work through as as the build day process is, is following that. Let's stick it on in here. I've got another one that's not inside the plastic wrapping. <laughs> okay. Slide this back in here. There we go. And of course, we're not going to rack this right now, so we'll just stack this up out back. And then we've got sort of standard packaging here. Pink foam, pink plastic. This is the, one of the hardest parts of putting a DVX in, and that's getting this thing out of the box. So I'm gonna ask for a little help. Without, <laughs> without losing any fingers. Yes. Set it over here gently on the table, and then we can slide this oh, bit Look at that, away. there's accessories and cables below as well. What else have we got in the bottom? Here? Well, you're probably gonna wanna plug this in. And hang on, let me pull this out and look at it. Yeah, because there's a little surprise in here. So the accessories and cables box in the bottom has the requisite power cords. It has a, a collector's edition. A souvenir Datrium screwdriver. This is from locking the discs, should you need to go that far, which I think we will be doing later. And a handy serial cable, should you want to actually directly connect to the to the data node. Because we're going to do all of the configuration through the network, but there are some situations where you wouldn't be able to do the initial configuration through, through a network, and so that serial is a fallback of out-of-band management. Correct. Yeah, this is, think of this as physical access. So if you have um, network connectivity, you can do basically everything that way, but occasionally you might have to go in. And, and you and I have enough gray hair to remember <laughs> when serial was the only way to do these configurations. Correct. All right, so power cords. Souvenir screwdriver, we'll set this aside. <coughs> Actually, let's, let's stick all, the, all of the pink stuff back in the box. Um, all right, we'll set this back in here. And then we can take the box off the table and just work Clear with some room. And then oh, it can go that way. unveil the, uh, the pink plastic bag. All right. So one other thing comes uh, nicely sealed like this, the end user license agreement right across the point pink plastic here. So breaking that seal basically is, is gonna essentially take ownership of the product. All right, so I'll let you have the... I, I'm gonna commit to yeah. agreeing to this, this license agreement. Yeah. All right. More layers of protection, which I, I we guess... We wanna make sure it gets, gets to you safe and unscratched. In pristine condition. Yeah, and then what you do with it? <laughs> After that, it's it's my responsibility, and if it was in my house, it would get pretty rough treatment. Right. So this is the the data node. This is, the front end here is where all the the, the discs are. So we'll turn around that way, yeah. so we get some signs of that. We've got uh, twelve uh, four terabyte spindles in there. 
All right, this basically gives us a 26.4 tibby bytes of capacity, I believe. So let's get that correct. So there's uh, terabytes, tibby bytes, but this is essentially all of the, the storage that you're going to have. Um, the business end is on the other side, but I'll let you kind of zoom in on that. That special screwdriver that was in there essentially allows you to unlock these if you need to replace them or if you wanted to uh, experiment with them. So they're nicely retained in there and yep. secure, but absolutely changeable on those. Right. Those are hot swap. Th they are. They're the same as, as you'd expect from any enterprise storage. Correct. And, and the protection we have on here with the erasure coding basically allows you know, failure of the drives and replacement on the fly. And so whether you do that yourself or they show up with a, a courier. The, the, the replacement. You want to spin that around? Then, All right. Despite not looking terribly musty, I can actually move some of these things fairly well. Yeah, the 40 kilogram didn't scare you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is sort of the business end. This is the connectivity. We've got dual controllers, dual networks, dual power supplies. Um, these basically can slide in and out. They are also hot swappable. Um, and I'm looking at this backwards. We've got uh, management ports, 10 gig. I believe this one has the 25 gig Ethernet ports on it. So we have both uh, SFP plus and 10G base T style connectivity for the data networks. And we have uh, standard one gig Ethernets for management networks. Right. And of course, the IPMI interface for, uh, for remote manageability on there as well, by the look of it. Okay. Um, not that we need to use the IPMI for remote management when we have the serial. Yeah, and then that serial cable, there's a little attachment hole in there for that. And this is yeah. all basically shown up in the quick start guide. Um, when you actually browse to the, uh, the DVX data node through the UI, we'll present this view as well. So one, once this is off-site in your colo and you want hands-off or hands-on uh, working on it, you can basically call out you know, colored ports and left and top and right. And right. Very, very nice. specific and prescriptive about what needs to get done. So there's a couple of things that are field swappable, replaceable right. in here. The main chassis stays stays closed, but Correct. at the back here we have the controllers. And they just release out, and there it is as a solid unit. This isn't field serviceable. This is just replacing the field and, and send the faulty one back. Correct. And the system can run on a single controller. So if this happens to fail, you don't lose access to the box. You just have to get that replaced relatively shortly. So the time, because your redundancy is, is reduced right. rather than your operation being affected. Right. Cool. But the idea is you're not playing around with this. Right. This is, this is a black box. <laughs> okay. There's a couple of more little black boxes in here that we can uh, explore the field replaceable units. Uh, this one here is the, one of the power supplies. We have one on each side. So this is basically field replaceable. And there's another little aspect to it. Those batteries that we talked about um, are also replaceable. So if, if it's just the battery that goes out, you can replace that, pop that back in. You don't have to replace the entire power supply. Nice. And of course, th this is the part that ages over time. Yeah, and um, that's actually the part that changes our shipping rules. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if I have to airship this and there's some constraints around, um, around lithium-ion batteries, I can just separately ship them. You could possibly, yeah. All right, what else are we missing on this thing? We've seen all of the front, we've seen the back, lots of network connectivity, uh, ports for the SFPs for the 25 gig, right. um, or it was RJ45 10 gigs as well right. as RJ45 1 gigs. Right, so this can be ordered with, with a pair of 225s or four 10 gigs. So we right. have slightly different options depending on your data center configuration that you're running today. Um, those are both basically the same uh, capabilities, just different connectivity. Same bandwidth available. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't change what's going on inside of here, just how it connects to it. Right. Nice. Right. Okay. Well, thanks, Mike. Yep. We should uh, get this baby in place. Let's go get oh, this the, up. the other thing we should, should note is that this is the uh, hard drive based yes. version. So this has got the um, four terabyte uh, spinning rust in it. Right. There is also the other, the other model, which is the all flash version. Of yes, this. We, we just introduced an all flash version, which we're going to try to get the, an example of it for us to look at here. Um, the key difference, the back of it looks pretty much the same, connectivity-wise. The front will be slightly different disks. They are going to go uh, vertically mounted um, flash drives. In. Vertically mounted two and a half rather yeah. than horizontal three and a half. Exactly. All right. And there's pictures of that on our website if somebody wants to go like look at the two different. Oh, well, I think the promotional pictures we've used for this build day are all of the yes. flash one because it's got the vertical drives in it. Yeah, those are the ones we've been using a lot lately for, for pictures. Great. Okay. Well, uh, this is I the unboxing. I think we've covered covered the box quite nicely. And um, 
Keep watching for more of the V Brownberg Build Day with Datrium.